So today we we took a 300 mile test drive. I actually came up to visit my daughter for a little little visit to a celebration of Christmas and whatnot. However, so in 300 mile trip took us almost seven hours. Half a half hour was maybe consumed by stop and go traffic in DC area because that's what the DC is known for. It's a uh, well known if you've ever been in this neck of the woods but it took us a good six and a half hours to get here how come well theoretically this car has about 240 mile range which you might even extend up to perhaps 300 miles but that's like even your like your gas powered car it depends you how you drive is it a stop and go traffic are you flooring it are you really going gently on the pedal whatever but 240 mile is is a good round number that that's the range of the car however you cannot drive 240 miles because you can't run out of juice and there's not a can electrons electrons uh, that you can just pour in your tank and, and continue driving so you can not run out you don't want to get stranded so um, so how does that how does that work well the computer is very good in in guiding you through because for example if I go to uh, let's say I want to go to, uh, let's go Chicago International Airport. Chicago International Airport is a good, uh, how many hundreds of miles from here? It's far. I'm in Washington, D.C. To get to Chicago, it's going to take me some while. So the computer knows that and it says, well, sorry, you can't go to get to Chicago without stopping minimum of four times. So in each station, we'll give you, so for example, I'm uh, if I'm going to do... Let's see, what are we going to pick? We're going to pick, uh, so I'm going to stop at this station here. So it will tell me there are four stalls available, 120 kilowatt is a maximum I can charge, and, and so forth. So I can add this to my trip, and the computer will basically guide me to, to, to that location first, and so on. It does remember that I initially want to get to Chicago, but it will not take me to Chicago because it knows I cannot get there with the charge that is available. So what about interior of Tesla? It's a very standard layout. It's a very friendly materials are very, it's a well done, well built car. This is an eight year old car with a hundred thousand miles on it and it drives really well. It's a, it's a driver's car. Okay. I'm actually glad that this model does not have um, auto, pilot or whatever because the, that Tesla would not be for me I like to drive so autopilot having a motion sickness would just make me things would not look very good in here so that would that would not be an option for me at all because it's just I like to drive I like to be in control so this model doesn't have that of course that's a to me that's a benefit so everything on the screen everything on regarding the car is done from this main console here the car commands and the setup is all clearly laid out. You can change things as you see it, um, as they fits you, whatnot. Uh, suspension has got a neat feature. If you are in an area that you have to kind of go on a high curb, you're coming off the gas station, whatever, you can raise it to a high. I mean, it's really more like an inch and a quarter. But it will raise the car. It will also remember the next time is in this location. It will remember, oh, I got to raise the raise the vehicles not to scrape the not to scrape the bottom so it's a really well done all kinds of all kinds of feature it's very alert, uh, easy to learn you can pair your phone and it will download your app your um, contacts and the rest of it entertainment center this stuff is some of this stuff is preloaded excellent rear view camera uh, really really sharp done also on the screen it will show you in the amount of inches how far you are before hitting something and um, so there are some other apps uh, uh, this is like some of these are paid like I think the Spotify you have to have subscription uh, Apple music uh, things like that so so all kinds of stuff that you can use uh, a screen is you can turn in rotate it zero zoom in zoom out all that like you would do on your like you would do on the cell phone so it's a really well made uh, and and fun to drive The screen on the right indicates that I'm using about 290 watts 
per mile, since nobody wants to drive a car one mile, it has to translate more into a meaning. So let's say 300 for ease of calculation. So it's this, this car requires five, your regular light bulbs, five 60 watt light bulbs, so it's 300 watts to travel one mile. So is that good or is that bad? That's kind of, that's kind of relative. I think we are more interested in driving 100 miles. So if we multiply 300 by 100, right? That's 30,000 or that's 30 kilowatt. So now we're saying, okay, this is an 85 kilowatt car battery and we'll burn 30 going 100 miles. So 200 miles is 600 or, or 60, right? 60 kilowatts. So, and I have 85. So that's about 250, 260, like I said, up to 300 miles ideally, but that would be, that would really be squeezing it. So 240, 250 is the most realistic. But again, even at that, at that calculation, you really cannot, <laughs> cannot drive that long. So, so that's my biggest, uh, biggest problem with, with the electric cars right now. Give me a 500 mile range. I'll make it a one car but at 240 uh, it's a really good second car one fun thing about this car is like trying to merge on the road if you just step on it car car just wants to go And the fun part is just stepping on it and any speed 54 step on it it just it just jumps in a flash it's just it's just amazing it is a blast to drive not long distance but short distance and acceleration is just there's nothing like it there's a Tesla supercharger here so we're gonna pull over and do a quick charge this is what gassing up or charging Tesla looks like. Let's take a look. Uh, car is parked and we're going to step out and plug it in. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I have hour and 25 minutes left, about 80 kilowatts need to charge up. So this charging rate is about 264 miles an hour. So yeah. I stop at the supercharger station and uh, this station has a maximum output of 250 kilowatts so it's a faster I believe that's the fastest charger Tesla has so what are the best characteristics of this car it's a driver's car you step on it it takes off and it just goes this does no there's no noise you don't hear the engine you don't feel that as you accelerate with the with the regular car, you feel the upshifting of a transmission. None of that stuff is here. You just push down the pedal and it just accelerates, seems like it wants to go forever. Excellent feature, driver's car, just that's always impressive. Whether you are by yourself or you have a passenger or whatever, it just pushes you back against your seat. The other feature, technology driven, is regenerative braking which means as you are lifting the put off the let's say gas pedal the car is slowing down if the faster you lift your your foot off the brake or of your accelerator or let's say gas pedal the car slows down further at the same time the brake lights go on in the back so you don't get slammed from behind because people wouldn't expect the car to be all of a sudden stopping without being without seeing the red light so it's well coordinated it works fantastic you use your brakes very very little it's mostly for emergency braking but for normal driving 95 percent 98 percent of the time you will not be using the brake it that that is so well 
so well done. I absolutely, absolutely love that. So forget the idea of having a brake job. Forget the idea of transmission service, oil and lube service and all that kind of stuff. Pay attention to your tires because you can't, you know, that's kind of important. That's a safety issue, obviously. But from maintenance standpoint, there is really not, not that much to do. What are the, some of the negatives? Well, the biggest negative for me is that this car is very, how shall I say? Um, it's a different kind of vehicle if you are using it for the commuting locally versus if you're going a long distance. I don't like as it performs in the long distance because there's too many stops. Yes, you can stop at the supercharger for half an hour and that will give you 130 miles, 140 mile range. And so then you drive to an hour, hour and a half or so or two, then you have to stop again and so forth. So if you're going on an 800 mile trip, you cannot do that in the day. Now, if I go on an 800 mile trip with my, with my old Mercedes E-Class, I'll stop once and, and I'm there. But this car cannot do, I'm not suggesting that you should drive 800 miles in a day. I don't even do that anymore. That's, I'm too old for that. But you cannot do 800 miles with this car because you have to spend so much time sitting uh, at the superchargers putting the juice in. So that is the biggest drawback of an electric car. Would I buy one? Depends. A hundred thousand is it? A, is it worth a hundred thousand dollars as a new car? Maybe, maybe not. To me, it's not. It's a fun car. I love driving it, but it's not a hundred thousand dollar car. I mean, that would mean it's a forty, it's forty thousand dollar more or, or more than E Class Mercedes or five Series BMW. Is it worth as both of those cars together? No. However. For me, this would be an excellent second car. I would still prefer my E-Class for the long distance driving. It's more comfortable and, 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 and those type of things. But for fun, around the town, commuting within 150, 200 miles where you can plug it in if you go to work someplace, if you have ability to plug it in and you come out, it's fully charged or you, you're charging it at home, it works in that way. That way is great. But driving the long distance not would not be my first choice. This would not be first choice. It drives excellent. The steering is fantastic. It's tighter than, than my sport suspension on my Mercedes or BMW 4 Series. So it drives really well. It's a little bit hard, a little bit harder suspension wise. The, the comfort level, my wife was saying it's a little bit, uh, a little bit too stiff for her. It has a really large tire. It has a 21 inch tire. That's, that's huge. I don't know if it needs that for performance or for comfort, but that's what they have on. So it's a, the, 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 it has a very low profile tires, which maybe that's why they're just kind of, kind of stiff, but I love driving it. Accelerates just a fantastic. I mean, that's what the electric motor is just, just, oh, it's just, just awesome. Just love it. But first car, probably not. I want to add something from yesterday now that we are completing our 600 mile trip. Uh, make an adjustment for uh, my biggest disappointment so far with the Tesla was the lack of range. So make a little correction. On 300 mile trip home, we are required to stop twice. However, at my age, I don't know if it's a really good and healthy to drive 300 miles. So first stop we made, Stopped at Wawa, had a lunch, took about half an hour to order and eat, got back, car was ready to go. About an hour and maybe 70 minutes later, we had to stop again the second time. That was about 20 minute stop. Um, just took a little walk, stretch our legs, got back in the car. Now we have enough, um, enough charge to make it home and have about 20% of charge left. So unless you are really in a hurry, you have to make uh, hundreds of miles a day. Actually, it is not a bad program that the computer guides you from one charging station to the other and where you can take a little break, have lunch, cup of coffee, stretch your legs and still make a decent time. So yeah, I like it. It's still a good car. So that is a, that is a quick uh, review for, of the car and um, thumbs up. It's really a blast to drive today. 
um, could not um, do a hard acceleration because it's kind of starting to rain and the roads are slippery so this thing can um, it's easy to spin the wheels from uh, from start when you're at the zero and standing you step on the, on the gas pedal but you can spin the wheels at going 70 miles an hour here if you floor it so you got to be careful with that otherwise uh, yeah just great car lots of fun to drive so that's all if you like this video enjoy it i uh, hope you leave the feedback or subscribe take care